All right, so this is uh, problem number two. At its closest approach, uh, Jupiter is about 4.2 astronomical units from the Earth. If the planet is 140,000 kilometers in diameter, what is the angular size as seen from Earth in arc seconds? Okay, so that's important to understand. Um, we've got to convert this to arc seconds. Uh, it says round the final answer to one place past the decimal. And, and there's our correct answer. It's going to be 45.8 arc seconds. All right, so we have this formula, right? This is, this is the formula um, that relates the, the actual size of something. That's what the script L is um, on the left-hand side of the equation. Uh, and that's equal to the distance D that the object is away from you know, the viewer. Uh, and alpha is the angular size. So that's really what we're looking for is the angular size. They give us the distance. Um, it's uh, in, They give us in astronomical units, so we're going to have to convert that, um, which we'll do in a minute. But but let's let's rearrange this equation and solve it for alpha, right? Because that's that's really what we need. And and if I remember correctly, I think I've already done this in the in the formula sheet. Um, just just to let you know, but I, but I wanted to just show you this um, quickly. Um, so so we have alpha here on the on the right hand side. So you know you're you're going to multiply both sides by 180, right? So to, to get get so 180 right, on, on both sides. So the 180 you know on on the on the right hand side goes away, and and then you divide by pi and d on the other side. So so this is what alpha is going to equal. Right, so alpha will equal, um, so it's it's going to be 180 divided by pi, right? Because because this this pi has to, you know, you're going to divide both sides by that, um, and then um, and and then it's going to be times L uh, over uh, d. All right, so so that's and then and of course the 180 divide that's a pi that's supposed to be pi. Um, the, the 180 over pi is just a number, um, and so so we, what we remember L is the actual size of it, or the, the script L, and and script L and D have to be in the same units. These must be in the same units, same units. All right. So uh, so, so now, now since L is in kilometers, I'm going to convert. Uh, my distance d to kilometers, all right? So dis the distance is uh, 4.2. Um, that, that's when it's the closest to the Earth. Um, it's only 4.2 astronomical units away, all right? And so I'm going to convert that to kilometers. I know that in 1 AU, which is, of course, the average distance between the Earth and the Sun, there's 150 million kilometers which is 150 times 10 to the sixth kilometers. All right. And you don't have to mem memorize that, of course. That's given to us on the equation sheet. Um, all right, so so uh, there we go. All right, let's see what that turns out to be. So let me get my calculator here. All right, of course, this is not the best calculator, but it's one that you can see. Um, so. That's, that's why I use it. Uh, 4.2 times 150 million, which is times 10 to the to the sixth. All right. So this is the this is the distance. Um, so if I were to write this in scientific notation, there's you know there's there's three zeros, there's another three zeros, and then there's two, you know two more decimal places. Uh, so it's going to be six point uh, six point three times 10 to the eighth. Right, six point three times ten. Six point three times ten. That's an e eight uh, kilometers. All right. So here's. Okay, so we just make sure. You know, when you look at the, um, so, so the, you know the decimal point is implied after this this last zero on the on the on the right, and so you go one two three, one two there's six, and then to two more spaces. All right. So anyhow, that's 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 what D is in in, in we're going to put put this all in this equation. All right. And so we're we're actually really close to being done. Um, so alpha 
Now, now alpha is going to come out in degrees, and it's going to be a really small number. So we're, we're going to change that, um, and, and of course, uh, we'll, we'll do so. One hundred and eighty degrees that, that, uh, divided by pi, um, and, and so that uh, times uh, script L is the actual the diameter of the the diameter of Jupiter in this case. So it's going to be. 140,000 um, kilometers uh, divided by uh, 6.3 times 10 to the eighth kilometers. So they, they, these two are now in the same units, and so the kilometers cancel, and that'll give us an answer in degrees. All right, and we'll we'll change it to, into arc, arc arc seconds in just a minute in just a moment. All right, um, let's see where's my calculator. All right, so oh, come on, oh, there it is. Okay, sorry, there's glare on this. All right, so so there's there's the six point three times ten to the eighth. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna just leave that in my calculator. Um, uh, let's see. So actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna store that. All right. So if I do this memory storage thing, um, let's see, see. Watch it when I hit memory recall. There it is. Um, just to it's m most calculators, it's much easier to store. All right. So anyhow, so we'll do the 180 divided by pi. So so that's just the numerical value, um, and then we're gonna multiply that times 140 thousand right and then we um then we divide by this uh this number that i you know this 6.3 times 10 to the eighth which i stored in my calculator or i guess i could just divide by that but anyhow i stored it divided by recall right and this is the angle right so that is an extremely small angle um so so i'm gonna, I'm gonna this is in degrees so it's let, let's just go 0 0.0127 0 0.0127 and, and of course there's other digits after that and that's a degrees but I know that in one degree there are 60 what are called arc minutes so that, that we give a single hash mark and then we know that in one arc minute, there are 60 what are called arc seconds, all right? So if, if I take this number, that, that's a zero. This first digit here is a zero. It does. So, so, zero, so that's, of course, in my calculator. If I multiply this times, uh, there it is. All right, so if I say times 60 and, and then times 60 again or times 60 squared, that should give us the size of the size of Jupiter in arc seconds. And of course, there's the answer right there. Let's see if that comes out. All right. So um, so we were to round it to one place past the decimal. So it would be forty five point eight. So it's point eight three. The three is less than five. So I don't round up. So this is forty five point eight right? arc seconds. Forty five. Point eight, so so you know that's what you would type into cal in in into Blackboard as the correct answer. Um, you can either use a single hash mark, uh, I'm sorry, a double hash mark for, for that that of course indicates uh, arc arc seconds, or you can just write arc seconds, arc second. All right, so that's uh, and that's the answer to uh, number two.